Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, when can I drive with a Florida hardship or business purposes only driver's license? So, you have to drop off or pick up your kid from school, or to go to the grocery store, or you need something at Target, or you want to go to the movies. But can you do so if you only have a hardship or business purposes only driver's license in Florida? The answer is, you can. But just like you can jump out of an airplane without a parachute, it's probably a bad idea. Be very, very clear on this. You have no right to drive in Florida, or in any state for that matter. And your driver's license, including any endorsement or restriction, is a contract between you and the state. It's a contract that you must honor or face serious consequences, sometimes including jail. If you have a hardship or a BPO, business purposes only restriction on your driver's license, then your ability to drive is absolutely and unequivocally restricted. Florida Statute 322.271-1C1 spells it out. With a BPO license, you can drive to or from work, to or from school, to or from necessary on-the-job driving, to or from necessary medical appointments, or for bona fide religious purposes. If you are caught driving at any other time, or for any other than those five designated purposes, then you can expect to be given a criminal traffic citation, and you can also expect to be booked into the local jail. Driving on a DUI suspension is pretty much the murder one of county criminal traffic court, and most prosecutors and judges won't show you any compassion, and they won't have much tolerance for this sort of a knowing violation. So if you have a restricted, a BPO license, please, pretty please, don't drive unless you're permitted to do so. Get rides, Uber, Lyft, use public transportation, walk, or just stay put. Because all of that beats jail, and it beats legal fees too. I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.